Hi, this is a video to walk you through the steps required in the second half of Week 1 assignment for CI 1000. Let's begin with Step 1. You want to follow the directions in Step 1 and open each of the images. Right click, save them to a place in your computer that you can find them. I like to use the desktop. So let's go ahead and do that. Click out of that. We're going to save the text document. And I've previously done this. So when it opens, you're going to need to click Enable Editing. OK. And go to File, Save As. And there again, you want to put it someplace like the desktop that you're going to be saving it as. OK. Now, you want to download the worksheet to your computer. So you want to click on that and open it up. And I've already done that. And your worksheet will look like this. Now remember, you will also have to click the Enable Editing tab at the top so that you can open it. And once it's open, then you'll have an opportunity to answer the questions in Part 1. But for today's purpose, we're going to concentrate on Part 2. Now, it says since you are currently in a Microsoft Word document, you can click on the File tab to open a new document. And how we're going to do that is we want to open a new document. So we're going to go up and click File, New, and click on the blank document. And a blank document pops up there. Now, I'm going to take our assignment and basically move it out so that I can read the directions while we're doing it together. So now what we're doing is we want to put the paragraph symbol in. And how we did that was make sure that you're in the Home tab. You go over here to the Paragraph group and you click on that to display the formatting marks. Next, we're going to go to View and make sure that the ruler is clicked. I've already done this, so it's already clicked. But you want to make sure to do that. And then what we want to do is press the Enter key two times so that we have more than that. OK. Up here, you want to type in Internships available. And then we want to type the paragraph that they have listed and put it in there. For the purposes of this video, I'm going to copy and paste it for the interest of time. So that's what we're going to need to do next. OK. And there's our symbol. You really only need one. Now let's take a look. And our document looks like the sample so far. OK. Next, what we're going to do, we're going to click on the Insert tab. And then we're going to go to the text group. And that's over here. And click on the object button because we want to find our file. Go down text from file. And we want to look on our desktop and look for our document. And that will pop that in there for you. After that, we want to select and highlight the first paragraph, which is basically just this title. So you're going to hold your key down, the left key, drag it across, and lift, and you're highlighted. On the Home tab in the Font group, make sure we're in the Home tab, and in the Font group, we want to click on this, go down to the first one in the third row, and click that. 
with the text still selected and highlighted, we want to go to the font group and click on the font size up here. Okay, and we want to type in 52. And then we want to hit enter. And that's going to make our first title very, very big. Okay, let's double check, make sure it looks like the sample. And it does. Okay. With the text still selected and highlighted, go to the font group and click on the A button again. Next point to shadow and then outer. Okay, let's see what we got here. Shadow and outer. Find the second row and click on the third style. Okay, we want to shadow it. Okay. With the text still selected and highlighted, go to the font group and click the font color button arrow. So we want to do this. Okay. Under theme colors, find the sixth column theme colors, the sixth column. One, two, three, four, five, six, while well, counting this, is the sixth column, and click on the first color. One, two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> Went the wrong way, sorry about that. Okay, click on that one. Next, compare our documents. Now remember folks, I'm doing this as I'm reading it, so please bear with me. Okay. In the paragraph that begins with the two words, this summer, let's find that, that's this paragraph, place the cursor before the first paragraph. Okay. I'll put our cursor there. Okay. Next, go to the Insert tab. and click Pictures. Okay, now remember in the Illustrations group, find the WA Bird file. Okay, we need to find the Bird file. We didn't put it there. We put it on our desktop. There it is. Okay, and that pops up there. And that's how it should look. Let's take a look at our sample. And that's how it should look. Okay. Okay. Next, click on the bird image and then click on layout options. Let's find layout options here. And that's going to be a little symbol. So let's find it. Hmm. Okay, now that we have the bird picture highlighted, we want to click over here, go to Layout Options, and then we want to go down to uh, look underneath the text wrapping and click on the first Layout Square. Okay. Click anywhere outside of the image to close the Layout tab. Okay, there we go. Okay, we've done that. And save the Word document using the file name convention. And that is going to be on this. So you're going to use your name, CI1000, Word document, Next, upload and submit this completed assignment, and you're done. So go ahead and name it, save it. Let's go ahead and name it. Go up to File, Save As, 
save it somewhere that you know you can find it. Make sure to save it as they say. Your name, I'll use use the exact same thing. Your name, underscore, CI1000, Word document. Okay, and we're going to save that. And then when you go to find it, it will be on your desktop or someplace that you can find it or in one of your special files. And that's it. And thank you so much for listening. I hope this has been helpful.